As the reels of time spin backward, let's journey to a cinematic realm where dust-strewn trails lead us through landscapes of black and white enchantment. Picture this, a balmy evening in 1950, the silver screen adorned with the tale of Wagon Master. Perhaps you recall the soft crackling of the projector, as if whispering secrets of the celluloid treasures it held. The very air seemed to hum with anticipation as the audience settled in, hearts aflutter with curiosity. Do you remember the first frame, the opening scene that unraveled like the first petals of a long-awaited bloom? It was a canvas of possibilities, a world where the uncharted West met the golden touch of Hollywood. And as the story unfurled, did you find yourself captivated by the characters' journeys? Did the camaraderie of the wagon train spark memories of your own adventures, shared with fellow travelers on life's twisting pathways? Ah, but let's not forget those indelible moments that etched themselves into the corridors of memory. The crack of a whip, the creak of wagon wheels, and the melodies that wove themselves into the fabric of the plot. Was it a poignant interaction, a thrilling chase, or a quiet revelation that seized your attention and held it, a captive in the realm of the silver screen? And now, as the curtain rises on our exploration of Wagon Master, let's venture beyond the script and delve into the lesser-known fragments that compose its tapestry. These nuggets of trivia and insight shed new light on a cherished classic, like unearthing hidden treasure from beneath layers of sand. So, my fellow traveler through time, let us embark on this journey together. Let's uncover the unsung heroes behind the scenes, the anecdotes that cast a fresh hue upon familiar faces, and the artistic brushstrokes that painted a world both vivid and ethereal. As we wander through the behind-the-scenes terrain, remember to keep a lookout for echoes of your own cinematic encounters, for in the stories we share, we find threads that bind us across generations. And now, without further ado, let the expedition into the realm of Wagon Master begin, guided by the flickering light of celluloid dreams and the whispers of days gone by. Wagon Master unveiling untold feats of grit and artistry in the annals of Hollywood's golden age, the 1950 film Wagon Master stands as a testament to both rugged determination and artistic finesse. Directed by the iconic John Ford, this Western Gems production held a secret of daredevilry behind its scenes. Ben Johnson, portraying Travis, clung to the spotlight, partaking in a jaw-dropping stunt. As Denver hurled water, Johnson's defiance met a genuine rodeo bucking horse. John Ford's hushed assurance, ride, and dialogue's reprieve as yours, egged him on. Johnson valiantly faced four bucks, almost succumbing to oblivion on his fourth. Unrelenting, he remounted, conquering ten bucks for Ford's shot. A glance aside this cinematic voyage reveals Native American Olympian Jim Thorpe's fleeting yet significant appearance. Amid the Navajo's rhythmic dance with the wagon party, Thorpe's legacy found celluloid homage. Unbeknownst then, it marked his Hollywood farewell, a subtle farewell to a radiant career that resonated beyond silver screens. A movie, as with any classic, evokes threads woven across time. In a curious twist, Ward Bond, essaying Major Seth Adams, kindled a parallel legend on Wagon Train. His presence transcended his earthly finale in November 1960. Echoes of his portrayal lingered through episodes that danced into 1961. Wagon Master remains a tapestry of grit and serendipity, where stars etch stories both on and off the screen. The celluloid concealed Johnson's determination, Forbes' final bow, and Bond's spectral continuity. And homage to untamed frontiers and unsung heroics, this Western classic continues to mesmerize, whispering secrets of its own. Research and narrative dance in harmony on the trails of Wagon Master, offering glimpses into the uncharted territories of cinema and human valor. John Ford's beloved Western gem, Wagon Master in the Annals of Cinema, John Ford's 1950 classic Wagon Master stands as an oft-overlooked gem, cherished by its creator and brimming with delightful anecdotes. Ford, the visionary director known for his indelible contributions to the Western genre, held a special place in his heart for this film, as he confided to Peter Bogdanovich in 1967. He mused, along with the fugitive and the sun shines bright, Wagon Master came closest to being what I wanted to achieve. One standout scene, where tensions erupt into fisticuffs, hides a tale of unexpected humor. Harry Carey Jr. and Chuck Hayward's characters engage in a brawl, swiftly interrupted by the irrepressible Elder Wiggs, portrayed by the seasoned Ward Bond. A sly directorial decision by Ford led to a pants-ripping debacle. Seeking to add a canine contrast to the human altercation, 
forward position two troublesome dogs in the background. Yet, instead of mirroring the on-screen scuffle, one dog fled while the other chose Bond's pants as its target. Ford's stifled laughter resonated, but filming persisted. Post-scene, concern for Bond's well-being emerged, with Ford fretting over potential dog-inflicted injuries, even pondering a tetanus threat. Utah's scenic expanse provided the backdrop for one of the film's memorable shootouts, near the picturesque Hiddle Bottom. This locale, close to Moab, doubled as a pristine battleground. Fisher Towers, another nearby site, had also lent its beauty to various cinematic endeavors. In a charming instance, an information installation at the Hiddle Bottom Campground nods to this 1950s western, reminding visitors of the role it played in Wagon Master. As we dust off the reels of history, Wagon Master shines forth as a testament to John Ford's artistic vision, intertwined with anecdotes of unexpected hilarity and the stunning landscapes of Utah. This often overlooked masterpiece, a personal favorite of Ford's oeuvre, continues to earn its place among the luminous constellations of Western cinema. In the 1950 movie Wagon Master, the intertwining of real-life connections and on-screen dynamics added a layer of authenticity that galvanized its Western charm. Notably, Harry Carey, J.R., and Ben Johnson, integral to the film's cast, rode horses that bore intriguing stories of their own. Harry's personal horse, Mormon, became an unwitting scene-stealer as it formed a bond with Johnson's renowned equine companion, Steel. The latter, owned by Johnson's father-in-law, Fat Jones, had a reputation that echoed through Hollywood's equestrian circles. In the thunderous galloping sequences, Johnson found himself astride Steele's stunt double, Bingo, relinquishing control to the horse's might. The camaraderie between Steele and Mormon often disrupted scenes with their vocal exchanges, a testament to the genuine connection they shared. However, the equestrian narrative didn't end there. Johnson's commitment extended to his role's physical demands, undertaking all his stunts. This dedication exemplified his embodiment of the rugged characters he portrayed. Meanwhile, off-camera tensions added another layer of intrigue. Joanne Drew's husband, John Ireland, opted to distance himself from the set, instead orchestrating an evening performance of the shooting of Dan McGrew for the cast. Such nuanced dynamics off-screen mirrored the multifaceted relationships the film depicted on screen. In the end, Wagon Master stands as a testament to the intricate interplay between reality and fiction, where horses formed bonds, actors undertook their own feats, and personal dynamics resonated beyond the celluloid. This melding of genuine connections and artistic craftsmanship propelled the film beyond the realm of ordinary westerns, carving its own place in cinematic history. Unveiling the untamed, behind the scenes of Wagon Master in the dusty landscape of classic Western cinema, the 1950 film Wagon Master holds a treasure trove of untold tales. Amidst the rugged grandeur of the Old West, where pioneers embarked on treacherous journeys, director John Ford wove a captivating narrative. But beyond the silver screen's allure, a candid glimpse behind the scenes reveals an unexpected clash of elements that forever etched the movie into history. In an unscripted turn of events, a seemingly innocuous scene took an uproarious twist. As Sandy and Jackson engaged in a cinematic brawl, the director sought to mirror this clash with a background canine altercation. Ford's ingenious plan backfired as one canine disappeared and the other lunged at none other than Ward Bond, tearing his pants. Amid fits of laughter, Ford continued filming, while concern for Bond's well-being loomed, fearing a tetanus shot might be in order. This unforeseen incident immortalized a unique blend of chaos and comedy on celluloid. Notably, the film's rugged authenticity extends to its cast. Stunt virtuoso Ben Johnson, known for his fearless feats, took authenticity to heart. His embodiment of his character's spirit was so profound that he single-handedly performed all of his stunts. Johnson's dedication not only elevated the movie's realism, but also etched his name in the annals of cinematic courage. Wagon Master, a western gem of the silver screen, delivers more than scripted drama. It offers a candid window into unscripted moments that became the stuff of Hollywood legend. From unintended dog-induced mayhem to Johnson's daredevil exploits, this film weaves together an unparalleled tapestry of authenticity and unexpected turns. As the reels of time continue to spin, Wagon Master stands not only as a cinematic treasure, but as a testament to the unpredictable allure of the Wild West, forever etched in celluloid.
unveiling untold stories from behind the camera of Wagon Master in the rugged landscape of 1950s Hollywood westerns. Wagon Master Stands is a notable masterpiece, etching its legacy not just through the lens, but also behind the scenes. While this cinematic gem is celebrated for its timeless plot and picturesque panoramas, the real treasures lie in the hidden anecdotes that shaped its creation. Amid the sprawling frontier drama, a tale of its own was unfolding. A lesser-known anecdote revolves around the enigmatic John Ireland, husband to Joanne Drew. As Harry Carey Jr. recounts, Ireland opted to shun the spotlight, staying away from the set. Yet, he orchestrated a unique ensemble, the cast and crew, in an impromptu evening performance of the shooting of Dan McGrew. This unexpected act of camaraderie added an artistic layer to the rugged shoot. Speaking of unexpected appearances, the discerning eye might have caught a glimpse of the legendary Native American Olympic athlete, Jim Thorpe. His final Hollywood stint finds its place in the scene where Navajo dancers intermingle with the wagon troupe. This fleeting moment in celluloid history is a nod to Thorpe's enduring legacy beyond the sports arena. And then, there's the showdown etched in the annals of filmmaking. The shootout near the river, a pivotal sequence, unfolded on the striking terrain of Hiddle Bottom, Utah, near Moab. The Hiddle Bottom campground, nestled by the picturesque Fisher Towers, bore witness to a clash that would resonate through cinematic history. In the heart of the desert, the clash played out, a testament to the rugged grandeur of the Western genre. As the reels of time turn, Wagon Master remains more than just a movie. It's a gateway to a forgotten era, an emblem of unspoken camaraderie, and a canvas where legends converged, both in front of the camera and behind it. And so, the tale of Wagon Master is not just one of horse-drawn caravans and dusty trails, but a symphony of untold anecdotes that enrich its narrative tapestry. For in the world of cinema, it's not just the story that leaves an indelible mark, but the whispers of moments that history almost overlooked. As we close the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to ponder the profound impact that the 1950 movie Wagon Master has had on your own tapestry of memories. Just as the film's characters embarked on a transformative expedition, so too have you embarked on a journey through the corridors of time and emotion, exploring the rugged landscapes of friendship, loyalty, and adventure. Each frame of Wagon Master carries within it the whispers of a bygone era, a capsule of a world that once was, yet forever remains alive in the realms of storytelling. As you've witnessed the dust rise from the wagon wheels and felt the warmth of the sun-drenched landscapes, you've unknowingly woven a thread of connection between your heart and the heart of this remarkable film. Was it the camaraderie of the wagon train? The stirring melodies that echoed across the prairie, or the echoes of untamed dreams that resonated with you the most. Whatever the case, your experience is as unique as the constellations that dot the night sky. So, I encourage you to take a moment. Close your eyes and let the scenes, the characters, and the emotions wash over you. Feel the ties that bind you to Wagon Master strengthen, as your own personal memories intertwine with the cinematic magic of a bygone era. As the credits roll and the world of Wagon Master slowly fades away, I extend my gratitude to you for embarking on this journey of reflection and remembrance. Your thoughts, memories, and insights are a testament to the timelessness of storytelling and the way it shapes our lives. Thank you for sharing this cinematic voyage with me. Your presence and engagement have illuminated the path of connection between past and present, celluloid and soul. Until we venture into another story together, keep the spirit of Wagon Master alive in your heart and your conversations. Warmly, your name.